Welcome to East Coast LQ Views. Today, I got a Bumpy Road Brews over here. Bumpy Road Bibs. <laughs> I had my first chowder at Iggy's. We're not. <laughs> All right. So, today, we got a beer by Long Live Beer Works in Fidens. So, Long Live's out of where? Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, Have fine. you had their products? Along the beer works? Yeah, we did that. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, you did the, uh, the that stout review with me. Yeah. So this is a collab by Long Live Beer Works. We both had Videns. And we, we both, both had Videns. We've yeah. both been to Videns in Albany. This is called... a Colony. It's just over the bridge from Albany. It's I think colony. it was in Colony, yeah. Colony. This the is called... coming off. <laughs> this is called Crown of the Night. Not to be mistaken by Bib of the Night. Right? <laughs> that's that's right. Yeah, Crown of the Night, double IPA, collaboration with Fiden's Brewing. 8.5% alcohol by volume, naturally unfiltered, may contain sediment. Brewed in Providence, 12-2-2022. And today is the 18th, January 18th. Yep. And uh, what were the hops again? There, yeah, Bobby. Simcoe. Strata. Strata. Idaho 7. And... Rakow! Rakow! We're trying our New best. New Zealand here. hop. We're trying uh, our best. The one here. New Zealand hop, Rakow. Uh, we tried, we tried. Or Roku. All right. You want to do the honors? Or Ryo Kid. Go for it. Crack it open. Ryo Kid. And I've had uh, three of these already. Save one for a review. Tonight? No, not tonight. Oh, not tonight. Not tonight. Not that would tonight. have been nice, but. All right. So let's see how I'm doing my sharing pours. Doesn't matter, there's plenty of beers to go around. Pretty solid. I mean, you got, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I got a, a monstrous head. I got a monstrous head on mine. But I think, yeah, pretty even. Once your head goes down, I think we're about even. Not pretty a bad good. job. Ooh, we get to do a little. It's a. Uh, uh, bubbles. Uh, <laughs> Looks good, no? Yeah, it's got a very vibrant white head. Uh, orange. Bright orange. Yeah, lemony orange, kind of like the other beer we did. did uh, a beer uh, man street? Yeah, it's kind of. Lemony orange. It's, super... it's almost like pineapple juice that's been like a little saturated bit. with lemon juice. Yeah. I gotta look how rocky my head is. It's hazy. It's not like just straight up like fluffy on the palate. There is kind of like a bubble of liquid. Kind of like a. It's a sack. A liquid sack with cream fill. <laughs> it's got a big peach note. Yeah. I, a peppery peach. <laughs> Grilled peach. So that's probably the papaya. Grilled peach, you think, maybe? Well, doesn't a papaya kind of have like yeah, a earthy Dan. pepper? Yeah, Dan, we got you. <laughs> doesn't a papaya kind of have a peppery note to it a little bit? Kind of like on the spicy, yeah. earthy Yeah, so, so lots of times I kind of get, there's kind of this cross between like, for me anyways, is it mango, is it papaya? But I start to get kind of an earthy tone base it kind of gets kind of that spicy tone gives you more to it papaya. yeah then i'm more like okay i think it's more papaya this is definitely more papaya than mango it's not it's not green it's a there, month and two weeks old there is so. a green bell pepper flavor to it though you're getting a little bit of like a peppery i'm actually getting like some bell pepper, right bell now. pepper. On, the, on the tail end yeah right before that that complete like earthy tone takes over mm. A little melon. Melancholy. <laughs> it's good though. It's solid. It it actually when you look at the beer, it looks like it's gonna be a lot thinner than it actually is on the on the mouthfeel. It does have kind of a like I said, it's hazy, it's not a murky beer. Yeah. Um But it drinks a lot more fuller than you would expect. Yeah, definitely. And then look at the lacing too, it's got that super creamy, frothy lacing on it. Definitely a good looking beer. Well, it depends on what glass you're looking at, but yeah. My rainbow glass is not really. 
<laughs> I eat alcohol legs on mine. <laughs> it's solid though. I like it. Mm. Uh, number on it. Um, I do get a little bit of that kind of wheat, wheat oat note from the uh, malt too. Yeah. Kind of carries through to the finish. Number, I'd give it like a. Uh, I kind of wish I got a little bit more out of it. I wish it was a little bit more juicy. I, I think I'm gonna run it at around like a 92. Okay. It's a solid beer. It's good. Um, collabs tend to like be good, but not super impressive sometimes. Yeah. I think this one is still very good. Yeah. But it's just not as like mind blowing as you would expect out of like, let's say like a straight up finance product. No. Uh, I'm liking it to the or tune a of like part of products. I've had some real. I've had a real. Uh, the skull medallion by Long Live was phenomenal, and then I had some double IPAs by Finans that were phenomenal, and this one is. It seems like it's more on the crusher side. It seems like it's a little bit more on the oh, side I'll where, try. yeah, like you're. It's 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 flavorful. But it's not as like robust and thick and super complex as some of the products that I've had by the separate companies on yeah. their own. Still a solid product though. Still in the 90s range. I'm at, a, I'm at like a 40.5 out of 50. Not bad. Um, which is borderline. That's right between um, good and very good. I, I would squeeze this one into the very good. I mean, I even, I even push this one towards like a 41 out of 50 type. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'd recommend it. If you never had either of the products. I mean, if you never had either of the companies, if you can get it, you normally get fine-ins if you... Yeah, I think, I think if you're kind of in that like kind of mid-80s to... 90s range, mid 90s, uh, right in that comfort zone there. I think any any of those kind of, kind of scores kind of say the beer is at least worth trying. Yeah, and maybe run somebody's heels over and shut the bar for it. No, but. yeah, I, I don't know how well the distribution on the long live products is. Oh, we don't get it in New Hampshire. We pay that. But Josh gets it in Virginia. Everything goes to Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, I, I recommend it if you haven't had either, uh, if you haven't had Long Live products, if you haven't had the Fidens, if you can find it in your area, um, try it out. Check it out. Uh, it, it's a good, solid product. Um, it's a nice little representation of what you can get from each of the companies, but I do feel like on their own, they have some other hitters that are much better than this. But it, it's still a good representation of what they both can do. Um, anything else you want to say about it? Drink up and cheers. Drink up and cheers. <laughs> if there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel... Oh, wait, before I say that, make sure to check this guy out. We're going to leave a, a link in the description to Bumpy's channel and a, uh, a link in the end screen... Uh, at the end of this video to his channel. So make sure you go over and sub to Bumpy. Uh, great dude. Very good reviews. 50 point inspections. And uh, uh, Monday Nubaru show. And uh, yeah. Same thing else you guys like to see on my channel. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. Like the video. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Ah. <laughs>